Good evening, all you cool cats and kittens. I'm Joshua. And I'm Abby. Let's talk about tiger sharks while we draw one together. All right, let's draw a shark while we learn some interesting facts about tiger sharks. How long do these critters grow? They commonly grow between 10 and 13 feet and weigh about as much as your mom, dad, and your- Sisters and brothers <laughs> all combined, I about, would say. <laughs> about 800 to 1400 pounds. But in this species, the males are usually quite smaller than the females. Yeah, the females way outgrow the males. Well, the average male is about 13 feet long, but the largest pregnant tiger shark was recorded at 18 feet and over 3,300 pounds. Talk about a cougar. Wow, that's a big mama. Now the typical gestation is 16 months and the litters range between, from 10 to 80 pups. Now the eggs hatch inside of the mother and the shark pups are born alive. Now that's only the ones that don't eat each other inside the womb, of course. Some, some of them get killed inside the womb and never get born. Kind of sad for those ones. <laughs> <laughs> they typically live in tropical places uh, around the central Pacific Islands. But they've been spotted around the world, such as in Spain, Mediterranean, Africa, and the Gulf of Mexico. They've been found as far north as Japan and as south as New Zealand. Yeah, they probably took one look at Japan and headed down to Hawaii, because you know how they like their shark fin soup. They wouldn't want to be finned. They're known for their dark stripes, but their dark stripes fade as they mature. So they lose a lot of that beauty that they have during puberty. Kind of like that tattoo you got when you were a teenager. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, kind of a sad day for them. Puberty's kind of rough on them, just like it is for us humans. <laughs> <laughs> Has a solitary nocturnal hunter. They're kind of, you know, nomads and. Yeah, they're the least picky eater out of all the shark family. They kind of eat like bachelors. They have uh, been known to eat just about anything. So they'll eat birds, sea turtles, humans, even garbage. But how do tiger sharks hunt in the dark? Have you ever thought about that? Well, it turns out they have a special sensory organ that helps detect vibrations in the water. And they don't have eyelids, so, but they actually have a protective membrane over their eyes that help them see better in the dark. That's pretty stinking cool. They're considered the second most dangerous shark in the world, and they come in second right behind the great white sharks. So sharks don't attack humans very often, but it is still worth mentioning that tiger sharks take second place. They're a little nicer than the great whites. Yeah, just a little bit nicer. So you can, you can swim alongside them with a little bit less fear. Though they're at the top of the food chain, they're sometimes killed by groups of killer whales. Is that why they're called killer whales? I, I guess. didn't know they even killed sharks. That's they pretty they impressive. They should be called the bullies. <laughs> <laughs> the bullies of the sea. All right, well, their teeth are pretty cool. We know that most sharks replace their teeth pretty frequently, but tiger sharks actually have different kinds of teeth than great whites. Great whites. They have serrated edges like knives and their the tips of their teeth point sideways. They're also shorter and broader, which makes it easier for them to bite through those crunchy turtle shells. Ugh. If you like the way I approach drawing and want to learn how to draw, you'll like my new book, Artist in a Month. In my new book, I will be sharing with you some beginner level exercises and walking you through a bunch of step-by-step -step tutorials starting off with some beginner level drawings and then working through some portraits together with the skills that you'll develop through the beginning portions of the book if you're interested in learning about drawing from me go check out the book i'll leave a link beneath this video and the link is artistinamonth.com 
Now these creatures have some pretty cool camouflage. Why don't you tell them about their camouflage? So the, the big white belly of a tiger shark acts as a camouflage so that when the prey look up, their belly blends in completely with the sunlight so they don't even see them coming. That's pretty crazy. Their back acts kind of as a camouflage too with the, the patterns that go on on the bottom of the ocean. So those stripes help them blend in when you when seen from above. And it's, it's also darker as you look down into the ocean. So being dark on the top side of the shark really helps them blend in when you're looking down from above. Whereas the belly, as she mentioned, helps them blend in when you're looking up at them. It's been known that the tiger sharks can go as deep as 3,000 feet, but wow. as scary wow. shallow as 10 feet. So practically swimming pool depths. They're also very strong swimmers. They can swim extremely fast for a little short burst, kind of like a shark with a jet pack. Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the last fact I have. Do you got any more? Well, I was just gonna mention the fact that when I've seen videos of tiger sharks, they are usually moving quite slowly and just kind of glide along, and you would think that they're kind of sluggish, but apparently, due to their immense strength, they can they can make those bursts of speed she was talking about. But whenever I've seen them in video, I've never actually seen one up close in person, they kind of seem slow, so it would take me off guard if I all of a sudden saw one moving really fast. Well, we hope you've found these shark facts interesting. If you have, give this video a like. And we want to know, do you want to hear more about other creatures as I draw them? Should we find some more cool animal facts for you? Do you want to learn about land animals, more sea animals, or sea creatures? Are they called animals if they're in the sea? I think. Good question. Someone answer that for us. <laughs> yeah, someone please answer that in the comments below. I don't, I don't know what is the correct term. Sea creature, I know, would be a correct term. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this. We will talk to you in the next video, and we'll see you soon.